Hey, what's going on, you guys? I'm Praka back from TechRis.com and welcome to another tutorial uh, for Firebase authentication. So we have done uh, sign in with Google, sign in with Facebook, sign in with emails and passwords, and now this time we are going to do sign in with uh, the mobile number or the phone. Okay, for this I've made a new project which is uh, named as Phone Sign In. Okay, this is a freshly prepared. Uh, project we have the main activity dot java and the activity main dot xml which is the xml file of this activity okay so uh, what i'm going to do is just going to connect that to the firebase so for connecting the f to the firebase uh, just click on tools and click on firebase and then the, uh, then you can select uh, authentication and email and password so we are not using email and password but still we are going to have the dependencies added via this method okay so I'm going to click on connect to firebase and it's going to connect my project to the firebase it's gonna ask me that uh, if I wanted to create a new project or add an existing project so I want to create a new project I'll connect uh, to the firebase and it will take some time okay so the project has been added to the firebase so it's showing me connected so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say add firebase authentication to my app it's going to add uh, the three dependencies one in the project level and uh, two in the app level which is the Google services and the authentication that is firebase auth and this I don't know why it adds this but uh, uh, I don't find any sense adding two versions of the same dependencies but fine it gives me an error always so let me see so now the dependencies have been added um, now let's go to the browser we are going to launch that in the browser I don't know why my taskbar is not working now. Okay. Okay. So we have the SDK installed. We are going to go and, uh, yep, yeah, phone number. Here we go. So let's go to phone number. So before you begin, add Firebase authentication to your project or add Firebase to your Android project. We have added that. We have added the Firebase auth dependency. Okay, so we have done that. So that's not a problem. I suggest you to go and read this documentation before you implement uh, the phone number sign in in your Android app. There are certain security concerns that you have to look through and uh, you know analyze your usage. Uh, according to your app because uh, whatever your app uh, uh, you are building you know you have to choose the correct login method according to that so if you are uh, you know basically uh, making an app for Facebook you are likely to go towards the Facebook authentication if you are doing anything with the phone numbers you are likely to go with the phone number sign in in the Firebase okay so you must read that documentation before you begin with the uh, you know phone number authentication but I assume that you have read and you are ready to go and so are we okay let's start we have uh, uh, so sign in the user by SMS you must enable the phone number sign in yes that's an absolute important step so I'm going to go ahead and firebase uh, dot google dot com you can go f directly to the console dot firebase dot google dot com okay so select uh, the phone number authentication we have just added um, where it is where it is where it is oh I can't see that oh here we go phone sign in and go to go to the authentication and go to the sign in methods and you have to just enable the phone number sign in okay so yes it requires an additional step so go choose your uh, you know platform just as Android so it will redirect you towards the same page nothing more nothing less okay so it says that you can't directly use it you have to implement some codes and do some researches and stuff but I'll tell you what you can do okay so phone number for testing okay so Google uh, you know is not supporting so Google has given a different field if you want to add phone numbers for testing you can add it here you can add the phone number any phone number that you want and enter the verification code so what it does is uh, when you enter that number into the 
you know phone number field and press send otp it will not send the one time password but you have to enter the password that you input here so it is directly configured and uh, you know match with the database and you are entered without sending the otp okay so you can add it or you can just uh, if you have to you know debug quite a lot of times i recommend this method because uh, you know Google is strictly against using that for debugging purposes because and we should not misuse it. So if you want to debug, you can add your number here. That's perfectly fine. Okay, so we just enable it and save it. That's all you have to do it for now. Okay, let's go back to the Firebase docs. Okay, send a verification to the number uh, to the phone number. Okay, so just copy this code. Now uh, make sure whatever language you are using, you have selected that tab. Okay, copy that and go to the main activity. So we have not done the designing part yet. So yes, I will tell you the designing part of the XML files. But let's go and uh, paste that on here. Okay, so the phone number auth provider, we are going to import that class and time units and uh, the phone number that we are going to input. Okay, so what I'm going to do is uh, enter a string, which is the phone number. Okay, so I'm not going to input that here because we are going to take that from the edit text, but uh, make sure you have the country code included in the number. Okay, so if you are making an app for the particular country, you can add that uh, just by concatenating that, you know, the string concatenation, you can just use a plus symbol between the string that, like I'm in India. So I'll use uh, double quotes plus nine one plus your mobile number okay but if you are using uh, you know multiple country uh, so uh, it's better to have an array and then you can have a spinner or something like that and make users select that country and according to that country you can have uh, one country name array and then another code array and then you can match the position with the country name and then uh, the same position with the code name so you can have that here okay okay so you can have that here so I'm just going to tell you about one country and then uh, I can include, uh, I will include uh, the country code array and the country array uh, in my blog. You can find it at the last somewhere. Okay, so we have the phone number. Okay. So now we are back uh, with the project. Now what I have done in the main activity XML, I have already prepared it this time. So, you know, you don't need uh, to watch the entire thing. I've just added two edit text and two buttons. So one edit text is for phone number, you for entering your phone number. The second is for sending the OTP. You know, after you input the phone number, you can click on send OTP. And then the third edit and then the second edit text is for entering the received OTP and the fourth button is uh, the second button or the fourth part is for just uh, submitting everything the submitting the OTP okay so that's really simple that is just two edit text and one button I have the Lottie animation view uh, but I'll not use it because uh, I do not have the Lottie library so we'll not use that okay so I'm going to go to the main activity dot uh, dot Java what I'm going to do is I'm just going to declare everything that I have in here. So we have uh, at the edit text, edit text. Okay, we have uh, the phone number, uh, the phone number, the phone number and the OTP received. And the OTP received. Okay, now uh, I have the strings, which is the phone, actually the phone number and the OTP okay so what I'm going to do is uh, I obviously the buttons I've forgotten the buttons how can I do so okay so button the one is uh, submit submit and uh, yeah okay. submit and uh, the second one is send uh, OTP okay so what I'm going to do is just uh, going to initialize those, uh, you know, find by IDs. I'm just going to do this find view by ID r dot ID dot the phone number. Okay. Now the next thing that we have the OTP received. Okay. Sorry. 
otp received equals find view by id find view by id r dot id dot uh, otp yes and then we have the button okay so the button starts from submit submit equals find view by id r dot id dot r dot r dot id dot submit yep and the last one goes to send otp send otp equals find view by id r dot id dot uh, otp or something like send otp yes okay so we have done the entire initialization now what we are going to do is uh, on the click of uh, otp okay so on the click of otp send otp let's set on click listener new on click new on click listener okay uh, new uh, view dot on click listener and then what I have to do is I have to send the OTP okay so I have um, uh, the string which is number uh, I already have the string okay which is fine uh, phone equals um, what is the edit text for number yeah phone number phone number dot dot get text dot get text oops dot get text dot to string okay now we have the string and uh, then I have to send the phone uh, you know I have to send the OTP okay so for sending the OTP I'm going to use this method which is um, here okay so which is just here so I'm going to copy it not this but this yes I'm going to copy that and the phone number is the phone that we have okay and I'm going to do is plus nine one that as I've told you plus nine one and uh, here plus okay I've just concatenated that we have the m callback method okay okay now so we have implemented that we are getting an error in the m callback method so because we haven't implemented that as yet okay so let us just go and you can do this thing in the method as well but I'm going to do that in directly the on create method so now what I have to do is uh, I, I, I have to create the m callback methods okay so I have already copied that from the firebase okay so we have the verification m callback method okay so we have the m callback so okay that is the problem m callback M callback. Yep, that's not M callbacks, but M callback. Okay, so yeah, it will show me an error because it cannot verify the on click listener. So it's showing me an error, and this happens every time. So what? So that is the best solution that I can give you is just uh, to copy that thing and uh, just to cut it like that, and the error will be gone. And then you can just create a method that is uh, a public uh, mm, uh, void send OTP something like that send OTP and then create a method and you can take your number as a parameter okay so the number as a parameter and then you can create the method and just paste that code in here so now it will be much more better and cleaner code okay and the uh, and then you can uh, check if uh, you know in uh, that if the number uh, if the f sorry if the phone is actually uh, is exactly equals sorry dot length uh, is exactly equals to 10 okay if it is then you can just call that method that is send o okay send OTP and uh, we have to pass the string that is the phone phone number okay now pass that string after that else you can add an else statement that is um, the phone phone number that is the edit text dot set error uh, please please enter a valid mobile number okay this is the thing that you need to do please enter a valid mobile number and this is done okay so we have number uh, we are just going to exchange that with the number yep. absolutely correct now we have the m callback method we have the verification id so 
for the verify code verify code is just a string you know uh, sorry verification id is just a string so verification id can be uh, declared here which is a string you can have the private string as well uh, verification id and uh, that's it uh, so verification id has been passed in this okay so now we have the otp dot set text so what it does is uh, when the message is received by the android phone it is read and it is auto filled in the edit text okay so you have to input the you know the edit text here the otp edit text so what do we have we have the um the edit text which is uh, yeah otp received so we have to input that otp received and that is sort dot get text now we have the the loading so i have not used it yet so we have the verify uh, we have the verify code method okay so i'm going to implement it just before the on create method that's two methods okay i'm going to implement them side by side okay so the first one is verify code and the second one is sign uh, sign in with the credentials so the basic sign in occurs here when this is completely verified the code is verified and then you are signed in okay so uh the verification phone activity i'm going to change that to the main activity just in a second okay so in verification failed you can display a toast as you like in verification complete the, the verify code has been called so the code is being sent to verify code and it matches the verification code with the id and then code and uh, when it is completed the sign in with the credential is called and the credential is passed as a parameter so it is uh, you know uh, the phone auth credential has been passed so mauth is the firebase authentication you know so we have to add the firebase uh, auth which is mauth and then we have uh, the mauth equals firebase authentication dot get instance we have to get the instance of the firebase authentication now one error is gone you can just replace that with the main activity sorry main activity main activity almost or or all all, all errors are gone uh the loading visibility i have not used the loading bar so let's not take it we are not going to start an intent activity so we'll just leave that here if the task is successful give me a toast that is uh, successful okay so do not do that on the emulator if you want to use the emulator use uh, the white numbers you know the white listed number that i have told you while create uh, while enabling the phone sign in in the firebase authentication just use them because on the emulator you will not receive a message at all so we can try it on the real phone and then you can have whatever you want like okay so uh, the sign in successful and toast okay so we are done with this that's all you need to implement okay so next i'm going to show the video of my from my phone uh, to you so you know the real phone so you can see how this app really works okay so that's it for this now you can move uh, to the real test So guys as you saw the sign in was working perfectly fine so so if you want to learn how you can implement google facebook or uh, github sign in or you know email and password sign in you can always visit, uh, visit our blog that is techris.com/android uh, if you want to more uh, if you want more firebase tutorials please come in down below and all the links are in the description box so you can visit our blog and download the source code there Okay so thank you please like subscribe and uh, do share this video if you want to have the instant notification please click on that ba uh, bell icon hope you have a good day thank you